Ich will mir. Ich will mir. Ich will mir. Hey y'all, it's G and I'm Jay and, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to our channel. channel. So today we're back to you guys with another wine talk with G and J. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so today we are back with another wine talk video and today's wine talk video is going to consist of us talking about five relationship deal breakers. Yes. So we both have a list of our five things that are pretty much deal breakers for us. Um, so we're all gonna we're both gonna go down this list and let y'all know how we feel about these things and you know um hopefully y'all fit all five and y'all can <laughs> come on our team okay <laughs> yeah so we're gonna go down this little listy list that we made and yeah let's get into it all right go ahead g so number one on my list is someone that can't prioritize like if you don't got your priorities intact then you can't you can't come my way like I can't stand a person that doesn't know how to prioritize if you don't know what's more important from what's not the most important thing then you you, you not the one for me I agree with that. if you a man you you can't take care of your priorities then it's a wrap because I'm a mom mm -hmm. I'm a mother of one so that's my number one priority right there is taking care of my son but if you got bills that need to be paid and you got kids and you don't take care of the things that you need to take care of as a man you out here doing other things trying to be flashy trying to be the number one person on the scene and this and that i can't can't rock with that you. it out can't rock with you all right so the number one thing on jay's list is a non-motivated individual okay Ooh. i cannot stand somebody who is just not motivated like you're so content and complacent and you're just fine with being just, where you are you're just being stagnant like no that's nasty you gotta keep it moving you gotta keep it moving Come okay you skedaddle let's move on to I'm, with you. I'm with you on that <laughs> number two so number two for me is dishonesty a liar you don't know how to be honest from day one like if you can't be upfront with me and tell me the truth about things from the beginning and i'll find out that you've been lying about it all along G can get pretty. G. <laughs> G, G can get pretty. G. G can G can turn up when it comes to okay. stuff like that. So yeah, I I really can't stand. Nobody likes a dishonest person, a liar. We've all lied before, but there are certain That's things certain. that you should not lie about. Certain yeah. things that you should not be dishonest about. Like, yeah. if I can't trust you, I can't be with you. Like, right. it's it'll be bad. Like, Ooh. I'm constantly gonna be at your neck about things. And I'm as long a, as you I'm keep it honest always. and keep it G, keep it 100 from the beginning, you ain't got to worry about nothing. That's what I tell people all the time. They're like, oh, G, you mean? I, I can't get a little crazy. but <laughs> I mean, if you're lying from the beginning, literally, I'm never going to trust you throughout our relationship. Seriously, like, though. You're just, real. you just been dishonest from Jeff. Bestie, I see, you know? you, I see you get a little crazy, too. You know, I could turn up, turn up <laughs> shop sometimes. Well, you know, I'll chill. Well, show, the show to get the twitching. Huh? I get the twitching. <laughs> 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 all right so number two on my list kind of ties into um g's number two my second deal breaker is a cheater okay i can't stand somebody that be cheating don't you let me catch you cheating now nah, and then it's worse mm -hmm. when like y'all be like oh i love you like i just want i want you and only you but then you still be out here cheating like I yeah just, and then you find out that the person's been cheating or talking to other girls you go crazy on they behind then they want to break up talking about oh i don't want to be in a relationship two three four months later this nigga with somebody else so i prepared you for the next you know who like right okay right. <laughs> okay. okay that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna be dishonest we're gonna cheat and then say you don't want to be with me mm. <laughs> and then you right then you with rebecca rebecca jessica and janessa yeah mess that's that's crazy that and that that brings me to my next deal breaker here on my list is selfishness we have the same number three selfishness yes we both got selfishness as number number three on our list and the reason for that is because we're both selfless people Very like so we i feel like it makes me happy when my family's happy when i can do things to everybody and if i'm in a relationship or dating somebody who always puts themselves before me and right. everything else it, it's a deal breaker right. i'm done I'm done too like because I I'm really I'm like one of the most kind-hearted people that you'll meet but I can get pretty ugly 
when you mess with my feelings because I'm a very passionate person and I feel like if I'm being selfless why do you feel the need to be so selfish like mm -hmm. and put yourself before me and to do whatever makes you happy but not consider my feelings like oh so it makes you happy to be talking to other people behind my back and to be lying and be cheating and just being selfish like I'm I'm coming for you <laughs> I'm coming for you agreed yeah all right, what's your number four, G? My number four. You go with your number four, because I did three. All right, so my number my fourth <laughs> she deal breaker. <laughs> y'all go, y'all go for some tough way about this, oh, but goodness. I can't. Oh no, a deal breaker could potentially be you having a child. Let me be completely honest. Okay, I'm selfish in one way, and that's me wanting you all to myself, right? So if I have to share you with a child sometimes it can get annoying like okay i might be able to deal with it i might be able to deal with it if you don't have baby mama drama if you got baby mama yeah. drama i'm about to say I don't, don't say that now don't say that now because i don't want it you never know you never know especially with our parents that have come come across a, a significant other that accepted them and their children that's true so i feel like i agree with you to a certain extent because again i'm a mother and i feel like I can I can date someone that has children and I'm not saying that because I have a child now but I, even before I had my son I feel like I can be with somebody that has children as long as they don't come with the drama true because I would hate to have to lay the pause on a mama like yeah. I would hate to have to lay the paws on a mama but besides that like as long as she's cool and respect and respectful I'm gonna be the same like I can I can honestly understand a woman not wanting me to be around her kids without me me and her first right so if I can meet you and we can be adults about it and you're not on the, the petty drama then yeah I could talk to a guy but if it's if it comes with the baby mama drama where he's you know sneaking around and, and not that. telling her the, the real not because you know some of y'all still be messing with y'all baby mama on the low and y'all be trying to say the joint together and y'all mess around okay and then she she um ran past one of our houses at night trying to bust some <laughs> stuff up that's the thing y'all be pillow talking over you y'all be pillow talking to us telling us how y'all don't like y'all baby mama and y'all baby mom crazy whole time you but you still one. tapping that though you the crazy one you the real. crazy one okay you, right okay let's let's move on before i get real so, upset number four for me on my um deal breaker is a boring person like oh. i don't i can't deal with somebody that want to just sit on sit in the house all the time and mm -hmm want to do the same thing all the time like can we be can we be creative can we can we be adventurous can we go do something new can we go try new things especially I, I like to try new things so if you're boring and you don't like to try new things then you ain't the one for me no okay. no 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 okay. no I can understand that I mean let me I still have my child like ways so I like to play around and true do silly silly stuff so yeah yeah like I used to be that person that liked to sit at home but I mean, I there's nothing wrong with sitting home because to a certain extent I'm a homebody I don't like to go out to go out every weekend and stuff but like I'm I mean like trying new things like things that both of us have never done yeah traveling going wine tasting or something like yeah. you know doing something new like trying new things like not doing the same thing like who wants to go to the movies all the time that's boring right. not to mention I'll be falling asleep and I'll be cold in the movie theater yeah. too oh my gosh it's free that is just not that's not the first thing I want to go do especially yeah. now that I got the little fire stick I could watch the so when, the, when they hit the oh you they, got the fire stick now uh, uh, okay a deal breaker for me and it's gonna sound bad as well but I can't stand a mama's what boy <laughs> I've mushed my words together. She I thought it said an armor body or something. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, cause my son probably gonna be a mama's boy. So <laughs> you can't stand a mama's boy. What's wrong? Okay, with that? let me tell y'all why I don't like a mama's boy. I okay. I don't have a problem with you loving your mom. There's a difference between you loving your mom and you being there for your mom when she like needs you. Then you like always wanting to be up under her butt. Like let your mother, she need a man, okay? And you need to be in your relationship and be in, and let that be that. Like stop be more involved with your relationship than being be, more involved. Right, with your mom. like y'all be so, together. Y'all be so like worried about your mom. Okay, I'm saying this all wrong. I just, I don't know, it gets on my nerves when you will literally drop 
any and everything for your mom all the time like that is so annoying like your mother can drive herself to the store she don't need you to do that all the time unless, unless she's she like is it really inca really incapable of doing yes. it herself like unless she missing a leg or something like but that you're not about, about to help her get out the car right but you're not about to tell me like your mom has her own car your mom can drive your mom's legs work she just wants for you to be up under her all the time and you about to leave me to go be up under your mom <laughs> that sounds odd i'm completely sorry like i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not here for it at all G, let's go ahead with your number five before I, um... I can't stand an uneducated person. Like, if you cannot spell and you can't read, don't talk to G, okay? Like, we can't... If we can't have a, like... If we can have a good conversation and... If you try to talk to me and you don't make sense, that's going to really get on my nerves. That's really going to get on my nerves. Like, I can't be with someone that, that does not know how to hold... A good conversation not just like a good conversation but like a conversation that makes sense like yeah yeah i need somebody to stimulate my mind i need somebody to intellectually challenge yeah me. so i don't want for us to be talking about stupid things over and over and over again that's annoying like i want for us to have i want us to talk about everything about things that are going on in the world yeah i like to have good conversation like i like I'm corny like me and my man just laying in the bed and just talking about life like just talking about things that have meaning like right. substance like I don't want to talk about stuff that doesn't even matter like right. I, I, I it, not even not even that just like I said a person because there are some guys that have tried to approach me and they really can't even spell yeah and like they'll send me like a whole try to slide in my dms and send me like a nice little paragraph but you don't know how to spell your sentences ain't making sense like you got you, got, you got to go yeah you gotta go you do have to go, <laughs> go. to be completely honest that is a turn off for me too like i can't stand someone that we're talking and then you pronounce something that is a small word like something that's so little and you mispronounce it is that how you say it? mispronounce it? mispronounce it misspell it like i just feel yeah, like <laughs> we learned that in elementary school no you? but seriously like just little things like you not knowing how to form your sentences okay i don't want to be your teacher you know what i'm saying like i don't want to be like that sentence is wrong like i don't know yeah but i feel g yeah i just because i because don't nobody want to be with no dumb female like yeah. an uneducated female you don't want no uneducated females you know what i'm saying right and if you don't know how to spell or read pick up a book mm -hmm. that's all i gotta say dictionary because reading is fundamental guys it sure is <laughs> yeah so that's my uh my top five deal breakers i might have I, actually i can come up with a whole list of things but we just did five for today don't want to keep for today don't keep it going and going and going but yeah so how about you guys try this little five deal breaker thing or you want to comment make it below or whatever you want to do comment below let what us know your what your thing. deal breakers are yeah. and yeah so what thank you guys so much for watching this video really appreciate you guys support once again thank y'all for getting our first video yes. to actually 300 views yes I thank y'all we still are waiting for you guys to hit that subscribe button um again we're going to be doing a little giveaway once we reach 100 subscribers on our channel so please please get our content out share like subscribe mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll definitely be returning a favor, yes. returning the love. I'm sorry that it's been so long since we've actually recorded a video and put some new material out there, but I promise we're gonna to try to stay consistent on it, get you guys some new videos. We do have a new cover video coming soon. Very soon. Something nice for y'all. Okay. Super excited. So we are super excited for that. that as well. I know that's that's how we started. We started off with a bang and then and then it just went <clears throat> But I promise we're gonna hey, run it gonna get it <clears throat> cracking. We're going to run it up for y'all. We're going to try to get these videos out there weekly like we were doing before. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.